panel is really, really useful because that will show you all the different shortcuts. I won't go over them. There are a lot of them, and a lot of them are pretty useful. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the, the first button that's top left. And so I'm going to move from the top left top left and work my way right. And I'm going to do it as if you've never used Chrome uh, tools because sometimes there are things that even though they're there, you've just never seen before. So if you click the, the little uh, magnifying glass, it will then select, it will then highlight all the different elements on the page. And when you click one, it'll open up the elements panel and highlight the, the item that, you, that you've chosen. The next is the emulation panel. That will so em emulation by clicking the little little phone right here. You can emulate different sizes of devices. So let's start by you can select a model. Let's say I have an iPhone 6 Plus. I want to see what this website is going to look like on an iPhone 6 Plus. This is not the responsive version. Sometimes the the dev tools hang up and it doesn't redo the CSS, and so sometimes you just need to give it a nice little refresh. So if you give it a nice refresh, it'll show you what it's going to look like. And you can see here um, in your CSS, if you're using media queries, it'll show you your different breakpoints. So I have a 320 breakpoint, I have a 6, 600 breakpoint, uh, 639, and 960. Uh, in addition to that, there's other breakpoints that, uh, that say, if it's, uh, if it's bigger than this, uh, then show it. So you can, you can inspect your media queries, which is really helpful. And you can hide that and show that by clicking the back. Or in, well, say, if your user agent is this, make your website look like this. Uh, and so you need to edit that. Uh, you can, as a full text field, so you can put in whatever you put in. Uh, you can also do. You can also, oh, the little magnification usually works as you blow things up and shrink things down. Um, uh, so that is the emulation. There are also more options. There's this thing called a drawer, right? So you click that button in the top right. And that will give you more options. So uh, it, it will give you the same options, but in a little more of a reader, readable way. Uh, you can also, in the emulation, if you have a website that has a print CSS style. So if you, uh, if you set up your CSS styles and you say, this is what the CSS should look like when I print it. So if you are times, it's not going to print out all the text uh, because they have print uh, CSS sheet. You can click that and then select which one of them uh, that you want always available on sites. So this but is showing so you can print and actually device emulation. Uh, so if I go back to media, and you can see here there's all sorts of stuff uh, down in down in here. Let's emulate print. So I'm only going to show you what would happen on a printer. Uh, network, again we went over that. Let's get that off of throttle. And then sensors. Uh, so you can emulate touch screen, Excel runners. It gets it gets really in depth. Uh, these are are always useful, uh, unless you have a very specific concern. 